Hi Sagittarius, this is Shah speaking from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your romance reading for August 2020 and welcome back, thank you very much for all your likes and it was Capricorn with 276 likes that came first and uh, Pisces second with 96 and Gemini with 86 and then I went over and went straight away on to the regular zodiacs. So if you would like to be one of the three top ones, keep those likes coming. Okay, now there is a little bit of news. Welcome as well to the new viewers. Please subscribe and hit the bell on all. Then you will be notified when I go live. But I uh, have had some questions or complaints from viewers that they're not getting notified. Um, so um, that could be because YouTube is clearing ac uh, accounts that aren't visited fr uh, frequently. So make sure that you are still members of your favorite channels. And that you are still uh, getting notifications. Because the notification button has changed to three choices. So make the choice on all, otherwise you will not be notified just out of security and um, because I don't want to miss you and I don't want you to miss me um, I do set out notifications on Facebook and on Instagram and on the community tab in YouTube okay that said there is also a bit of other news um, I will be starting up the competition again um, a little bit later at the end of the month I think um, but it will be done on Facebook as there are some people that are doing the visionary boards and um, they they asked why did you stop the competition well I didn't know if anybody had entered it so I'm doing it in a different way because uh, I think a lot of YouTube uh, viewers didn't want to compete and didn't want to join in the fun so I'm going to make a special page, a private page, so if you do want to join in with the competition then I will uh, announce it as soon as I've made it. I don't know how to make a private page so I have to do some studying on that and then I'll let you know and then we'll start the competition. Okie dokie. Now Thank you very much for sharing and liking and like I said this is your romance reading for August 2020 and your first card is new love. There could be new love coming in. Even if you're hooked up there could be uh, um, like every relationship friendship goes up and down like life perhaps you are going to a new level or a different level so it will be uh, a new way of loving this could be more passion because we are in August and that is the fire sign and that stands for passion that stands for creation that stands for logic that stands for action so there will be most probably a lot of action this coming month in the time of Leo a new person has stirred your romantic feelings be careful of temptation okay if you want to keep the temperance if you want to keep the balance in your present relationship if you're hooked up then um, do you really want a new love that's the question now if you're not hooked up then there could be a new love entering or has stirred up emotions Ooh, so your hormones might be working overtime <laughs> but remember passion is only for a short time and is not like the same as true love true love means for a long term and with durability but this new love that could be entering your life could be also somebody that you will marry eventually because we have the four of wands and that represents marriage celebrations but if you're not hooked up like I said you might be going to a wedding and you might meet your true love there and this is in the third time that this situation has come up in readings from a marriage comes a marriage 
that's the saying but there will be celebrations perhaps you will be celebrating because now you have met your true love we've got the fox there might be somebody keeping an eye on you that could be an ex that's keeping an eye on you be careful because they can be sly okay they can be analytical Whoa. or in the good sense there could be somebody that has an eye on you and is perhaps trying to find a way to get your attention to stir your feelings up and doubt Said, uh, make something doubtful if you're hooked up then making you doubtful whether you are still happy in your relationship so be careful be careful it will throw you out of balance one and four is five then you are out of balance if you have a relationship and you are happy then don't even go there don't go into temptation because if this person ha does stir your feelings up and they were married or they are married then they will do the same to you they will not be trustworthy okay a fox sheds his fur but not his tricks make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to stay take of course if you are hooked up yes make the effort we all have our ups and downs in our friendships and relationships so make it upwards make it excitable do something together spend quality time together okay go and celebrate that you're still together that you can go out and and about again because the lockdown is eased up we have the knight of pentacles there might be news this could be about a house that you might be buying together because the four of wands also represents the house like i said the four of wands means the four corners of a house so you might be looking at a house to rent or to buy and you could be re uh, receiving news about this that the let is free and they are giving it to you or yes the um the bid or what you have bid it on the house um is accepted something for durability in the long term okay um also that could be why you're celebrating with your partner okay this could be a new love but this could also be something that uh, has come into your lives to give you new love to be exciting perhaps you were worried that something wasn't going to go right and blah 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 and then yes we get worried we we get grumpy and moody and then we don't feel that we want to uh, love somebody but we do still love our partners so perhaps good news will this is definitely good news because this is celebrations and it could be a ring partnerships right if you're not married then you might receive a ring and form a partnership living together in a house getting married this could also that you are starting a, a, a business together and you are forming a partnership but don't let it get into your love life so make the effort in your love life working together and living together is tough okay now religious factors in week three your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path not only your upbringing or your spiritual path but it could also be your culture where you come from perhaps the uh, like in Italy and in uh, other countries Latin countries the wife stays at home and does not go come into the business that is what the man does so make the effort and say right you know I'm a partner um, if you want me to stay at home then I I don't want to because I want to work as well and I'll come in part-time boom so 
take it easy just compromise learn how to compromise both of you have to respect each other for who you are uh, and also um, where you come from otherwise this relationship won't m work and we do things differently and yes it can be your upbringing but we can learn from somebody else's upbringing as well what goes round comes round you've got the wheel of fortune so you will be going on the up you might be taking like I said you might be taking the relationship a notch up okay or you might be taking a, a partners the partnership the working partnership also a notch up that could help as well you might have stayed at home and you want to go back to work and you, your husband does have a company or you both have the company and you're going into the company to work and that's going to could be very profitable because the money everything goes up and down up and down we've had hard times but now the wheel is going up there is an end to difficulties and new beginnings wow this also means moving home or going on holiday wow perhaps you've made the effort um, of finding out if there is a cheap holiday around you in the in the in the area that you live or in the next state or the next country whether you can cross the border and perhaps you might have just booked a, a couple of days away with the uh, partner and without the kids of course or with the kids that is up to you and this is a beautiful card this is also the karma card what goes round comes round what goes up must come down if somebody's done you wrong or good they will do you good they will get it back threefold if you've done good or bad you will get it back threefold now you've got the anchor you're coming home to a safe haven if you've bought a house or rented a new house this house you feel comfortable in you feel in your strength because 35 3 and 5 is 8 is the house of money and the house of power you're in your power you feel comfortable yes you're coming home to a safe haven the answer is also yes to a question will you get married yes it might be a little bit later uh, this year or next year there could be a number that is significant okay now let's have a look eight seven you're going moving forwards you're definitely moving forwards let's have a look at a date at a later date but you have two falls so it could be next year fourth of March boom that's sticking out the angels do have your back okay then we have the fourth week healing family issues yes perhaps there were issues like I said um, that you were staying at home and now you're going to come into the company yes you are helping along okay and it says here your love life benefits as you forgive your parents but also your parents-in-law perhaps this was business of your partner's parents and they've retired now and now you can step in because there is room and there won't be any kibbling okay because now it is your partner's business or your business and then your partner will come in there will be an offer this is the four of cups but you're not seeing it so don't focus what is in front of you come out of your head don't be depressed look what is around happening around you there is something on offer there could be a visitor coming or you could be visiting somebody but the rider means news and I think it's going to be good news a new beginning like I said new beginning so this is a new beginning this is news this is really celebrations be careful of the third parties don't let them disturb you okay 
don't let anybody disturb your relationship. They should stay away. Just tell them to go on the bike. <laughs> there was another reading that had this. Spiritual protection, silence and solitude. Woo, silence and solitude. Yes, do go and meditate and contemplate and take time out and evaluate on how to do the ne what to do on the next step in life. How can you make it more exciting if it is in a down spiral? Make it up at the end of the month. You will because we around the 21st we are into Leo. So this this is around the 21st. Archangel Michael calls you to connect with him on a deeply spiritual level during prayer and reflection. So reflect on what you would like to do and what you can do. There is something on offer, alright? You have to be able to see it. And abundance is coming in. That's the answer of the angels. Don't work all the time, okay? It will happen. It will happen. There's good cards here. Steady and something is built on proper foundations. If you are hooked up, this is a good relationship. But me renew your relationship. Let the love come in again and again. You have to work at a relationship to maintain it and to keep the balance. But this relationship is built on a good foundation, a good friendship, a good understanding. Stick up for your partner and accept them the way they are and they should as well again the anchor is steadfastness boom absolutely a beautiful reading Sagittarius and I hope you have enjoyed it I hope you will enjoy August and be safe and take care I'll see you in the life or in the next video ciao ciao